friends, welcome to episode three of a series that we don't have a particularly great name for yet, but yesterday I decided to call it the Mount Edwards revamp episode three. Will it have a new title next week? Maybe. Now for the last two episodes, I have started the episodes, the uploads at the trails themselves. But if you've been following along, you'll remember at the end of the last upload, I declared my commitment, my, my budgetary commitment for revamping the Mount Edwards Park by pledging the revenue in the first 24 hours of these uploads, the series uploads. So I thought it'd be fun to try the format of like discussing what the revenue, what the budget is for the upcoming week based on the last upload's performance and its revenue for the first 24 hours. If you're not into this part, let me know and I'll, I will quash it. So as you may or may not know, uh, I am like a little bit of a nerd. So I have a spreadsheet. Episode one netted $27.99 in the first 24 hours. I had spent $26.53 after tax on a shovel. Episode two, which performed like not as well, made $21.49, but I had to add a column here. I had to add what I call a, a bonus column. I got an email from a viewer of the channel, a viewer of the series, Sean Welsh, and he wanted to donate $75 to the cause. He was like, you need a watering can, you're probably, you should get a tamper. I'd like to personally pay for those things, which is absolutely unbelievable. I'm incredibly grateful for that donation. Sean, thank you very much. That money, uh, I spent 60 on, it's not done yet, but it's a custom rake tamper for building stuff like this. And literally the next clip of this vlog is going to be me going to buy the $9.99 seven and a half liter watering can. So the total spend for this episode is $71.48. All said and done, the budget now sits at a surplus of $41.94. This is where I would say, uh, what do you as the viewers of this series think that money should be spent on? Because in my head now, I'm like, we should try and get some loads of dirt or something. Uh, it's possible the government would need to get involved at that point, but I almost want to start saving some of the budget now and see it grow and then make cooler, bigger decisions like renting gear or maybe getting some loads of dirt brought in. But yeah, pretty cool. Sean, thank you so much. I, re I really do appreciate it. There was a fancier steel one for $25, but I just don't see the need. Right. So everything acquired, I think a little bit of a refresher makes sense. Small line, this jump is not good. It does need work, but we're just kind of leaving it. You could ride it. This, the spine, it is holding up well. It's holding up well, it seems, to footprints people beating the snot out of it. And then this was my main focus for pretty much the entire video when we uploaded it. And this side just had a massive pile of dirt behind it. I, I did not come here and pack that in. Obviously it's still a little soft. The ruts that are coming through here when you land are very deep, but it is starting to be packed in. That's good though, that is like not a lot of work to get that more packed in. Give it a little rake, hit it with the shovel. If I had the tamper, you could probably really harden it up. But I think for getting everybody riding as soon as possible, uh, it probably was the best bet. Now I actually only did one dig day last week, so a lot of the changes here are not due to me because the day I came in, I came in with Brandon one day and I didn't actually film anything or record anything, because it was so swampy and so soupy after the rainfall that I said was coming that uh, I, I thought we were just gonna deal with drainage, which we did. This whole line, this is all stuff we dug in to get the water from everywhere that it was. It was pooling in all the bomb holes of the jumps and we got the water away from all the important places and we're getting it to go to the forest back there. Now I have a little bit of an understanding of what it is that Brandon and Jeff did with their time here, searching for dirt in this lower part. 
But the biggest takeaway, the most exciting thing, I'll put a clip here of how that lip looked at the end of the session that me and uh, the other three riders did. Like, it, it got pretty beat up. The work that Jeff and Brandon did on this jump and the first jump is totally mind-blowing. It is night and day. They look so much better. I guarantee they ride a lot better too. This lip at the end of riding it last week was literally turning into like a, a circle with one, one little good spot to actually ride off of. Now it's a, a fully usable lip again. Brandon, Jeff, amazing job. Now, what I actually kind of was part of was uh, the day after the rainstorm of getting this berm back into much nicer looking and better riding form. A good portion of all this dirt was dug back up, put into place. It does look better and I'm sure it rides better. I haven't ridden it yet. Once again, completely sounding like I'm taking credit for uh, someone else's work, not my work, Brandon's work. I was messing with something else. See, what's gonna happen is you're gonna come around this berm and then there'll be, uh, well, I mean, it's basically already there, but boom, there's a pile of dirt that, I don't know, it just, there, the pile of dirt was over there. All I did was just, I just moved it over a little. I'm not doing any illegal building. I'm not doing anything I'm not supposed to on public land. It's just, it's just a little movement of dirt. I don't see the problem. I don't see any issue. And if it just so happens that someone sees that you could like ride over to there, I, how are we to stop them? Mm -hmm. But if that is to happen, that pile of dirt has got to be safer than it is. So that will be, that'll be my goal by the end of today before episode three comes out. I'd like to make that pile of dirt uh, somewhat rideable if someone just so happened to see that you could come out of that berm and ride towards here uh, that, you know, it would be okay and that there would be no liability. No one would get hurt. So that is my goal for the next few hours. I'm going to scrape up a lot of this already saturated dirt. It'll make it nice and easy to work with. Get it up there and then uh, with any luck, geez, maybe I'll even try it. So Matt and I spend two and a half hours building this landing that's gonna be out of this. Brandon shows up five minutes after I tell him, not even five minutes. Not even five minutes. Of 30 seconds. I'm like, I'm gonna hit it. Cause he's like, you've built it wrong. And he's yep. like, let's, uh, let's see it. Uh, yeah, we did. Just a little tweak. It should be, I don't know. See, in my head, I go off of things and like, I, I don't hit jumps properly. No. But Brandon does, and so does his brother, and so does everybody who actually rides here. So they don't fully understand yet how I hit jumps and why I would build them so stupid. But he'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna case. I might even case here. Maybe. I think on purpose. I'm gonna try and see if I can give you the best possible chance, but this still isn't, this still needs to be built up like. We're gonna see how it goes. Okay. Kind of nervous. Oh, that's fine. This is going to work. I know it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I didn't case nearly as hard as I thought I would. Brandon's showing up here saying it's not gonna work. Look at that. Sick.
but uh you could go over the second jump if you feel like you didn't make the first one. I know. You're allowed. <laughs> Too much pressure. There is there's like over there it's double digits amount of people here. I don't want to be so conceited that there's this many people here now because of me and Brandon and the crew working on these jumps, but... It's because you work on the jumps. It's because he's working on the jumps, right? Look at this lip. These were working, like, really good last time. <laughs> no contest. Zero competition. These are far and away the best that they've ever been. I've never ridden them this good. This feature that went in today, well, over a couple days, already working great. Graham, hit the new feature. Ah! Oh. It really, it, it does kind of feel like the dream is starting to take shape here. It's Tuesday now, the day of uploading. Uh, definitely ended up riding a lot more than I think I thought I was going to. I think that we all thought we were going to for for messing with these and it is crazy to think that just in three weeks we've gotten everything going and you'd in my head i was like ah, maybe we would just end up getting the park going the way it kind of is everything else is just a pipe dream but but like we did we added in the first new feature here at mount edwards in a dog's age and just having something to continue on to out of the berm instead of your run just ending after the unfortunate, you know, heavy pedaling you need to get in here because it's so flat, it totally changes the dynamic of coming here. The Mount Edwards bike park has always kind of been like, a, uh, it's close, so I'll just go there. But if you got more reward for the work that you put in, then more people will show up. So anyway, this does work pretty good. It'll need some tweaking, but that'll just keep getting better and better as things progress, as it gets ridden in, and then we can kind of shape it into its final form. The next step to make that a worthwhile endeavor is actually building the hip that I talked about here. I originally wanted to put it further back, but there's so much dirt from this berm that no one uses. You can see all the grass has grown in because no one touches it. We'll dig into this a little bit and we'll start building and shaping that into a hip that's usable. So from the fake shark fin into the landing to right here, there will be a jump with like a diagonal landing that'll shoot you into this area that I said I wanted to start building up. We can dig into the ground here and put a couple more jumps. Which honestly, when I started, yes, I was like, oh, we, we can totally do this. But for everything that we've gotten done, for getting that done and riding, um, I'm feeling significantly more confident in the ability to make that long jump line go for a lot longer and get our five or six jumps out of it. Like, look at this. This could be, you know, built up into the final jump of the line, um, which no one uses right now. Like this does not get used. And we are going to slowly build that up so that people are excited to ride it. And it's going to be sick. I don't wanna make any promises. I don't wanna say where anything is going. I know what I have in my head. I know what I have for dreams. Yeah. I I don't know. I don't know how to end it. I guess I'll just end it like that. I can't wait for next week's episode. It's going to be sweet.